The problems that I would be inclined to see when veterans first return back to the United States with a head injury are changes with their relationships, with their families, their children, and it changes the, the person themselves, their personality, their role in everything that they are familiar with. They come back and they're, they're, they're dented and they're dinged up. A lot of the veterans that need help, they, they're in denial. They don't want to think that they need help because if they think they need help, then they're weak. I see a lot of that kind of shame that comes along with the TBI issue. And it's difficult because it's kind of embarrassing and they kind of feel disconnected as if something happened to me, but I'm not able to find that place back. The first thing is you come back and you don't have people that can relate with you. And then you start feeling, what is wrong with me? And you know there's something wrong because every little thing upsets you. I go to the hospital over here in Detroit and they got head problems. I don't like it, but they come home that way. They were serving the country. They need help. We should give help. We need to do all we can to make these young men and women understand that what they did in the service does not mean they have to come home and lose their life here to something as, as foolish as taking their own life. I bond with every person who wears the military uniform. And I know the honor and the duty and the sense of responsibility that they have for this country, and I share that with them.